Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio. Last episode, we had a heartbreaking defeat in the last action of the game, 2-1 against Topeka, the top team in the league. Today, we take on Augusta, who is definitely not the top team in the league and is a game we should win. But we haven't exactly been performing at our best in the second half so far. As this downward arrow about our fans would indicate. Hopefully, this is the game where we break that streak, but before we do that, we have some major decisions to make. Okay, we've got 16,000 in bank care, and that's probably not going to be enough to extend all the players we need to extend. First thing we're going to do is we're going to sell off Worthington who has no real use for us anymore. Next off, we're going to extend Shatter as perhaps our most expensive player there. After that, we got Roman, O'Donnell, Thacker, and Greer, and yes, I skipped over O'Keefe for a reason. Yeah. Roman, we can do without going over. You can't do that there. Uh, Thacker we can do. Greer we could do. We cannot so we cannot extend both O'Donnell and O'Keefe. One of them has to go now. And I think we're better prepared to lose O'Keefe at the moment as opposed to O'Donnell. Uh, we could put Fry in place of O'Donnell, but we've got Thacker ready to take over O'Keefe's spot, and this is a hard goodbye. O'Keefe has been an incredible player for us. He's been with us every match so far. He's had some injuries, he's had some suspensions, but he's a passionate player. Five goals, four assists, 24 tackles, five man of the match. It's only 28 days from getting the passive intercept. But, in order to keep this team together, we need to sell O'Keefe. And it looks like he's going to land with Albany down in the Amateur League. And we wish him well. Goodbye, O'Keefe. And Thacker will take his place in the lineup. Uh, and another note I'm going to put on for this season is that it's becoming more unlikely that we're going to get into these glory positions that I would like, and it also seems fairly unlikely that we're going to be relegated. We're probably going to end up in this area. So once we're secure in this area, I think I'm going to play more of our younger players. We may not have taken out O'Donnell now, but we're going to need to eventually, and Greer needs to get that experience, because while Fry could potentially fill in soon, uh, Greer is the one we really want to develop and keep for the long term. Oh, uh, also, gotta extend <laughs> O'Donnell. And there I have it. So, let's take a look at their lineup compared to Augusta. So, they've got the center defenders all around, and gonna put Thacker there so that we can actually get the pass to Calvert because Calvert's the better better person to go to than O'Donnell at the moment because he has to go through Stubbs and Beaver while Calvert would have to go through Wallace and Beaver to score. Bowers and Calvert are both decently tired so if we take an early lead we can Take them out, give them some rest, give some opportunities to players like Greer, maybe Clay, or one of our other young players. But here we go, our first game without center, center uh, piece of our team. We get the ball past Matson and Calvert gets by one. Can he get by Beaver as well? Yes, he can. 
it's just Calvert on goal. And Calvert's shot is saved by Mosley. And as usual, we have our... There, I'm going to change O'Donnell to that because the head play is more important in today's game than the break-in, I think. Olsen keeps position, as does O'Donnell, and it is headed out of the way by Wallace, and Calvert comes up to take it. Can he keep it from all these defenders? He keeps it from Beaver, he keeps it from Sherwood, can he keep it from Wallace as well? They don't even try. Dribbles past Wallace, and it's just Calvert on goal. This time he's going for the precision shot, and it's saved by Mosley. Just some unlucky, unlu bad luck on the chances so far. Olsen heads it away from Matson to Sherwood. Sherwood passes to Stubbs, and Stubbs going to move off to the side. I guess O'Donnell come out, try to take it away, isn't able to. And that will have to do it. Thacker will move slightly over. And the pass goes to Diggs now. Diggs moves off to the side. And moves even further off to the side. But that gives us the opportunity to bring over Bowers. And Bowers easily takes that one away. And is going to hold it. Diggs can't take it from Bowers. What are they going to do now? They're going to move over Beaver. A couple spots. Ah, uh, and he can, and Matson can come all the way up for that. And Matson manages to intercept it, but Thacker takes it right back and gets it over to Calvert. And Holbrook can't take it away from Calvert. Ah, uh, but Sherwood does. And Sherwood moves away from our front line. Olsen takes it. Can't really go for the long shot. And so he's just going to hold this one. And Sherwood takes it right back. And moves off to the side. Augusta is playing for the tie, it seems. Bowers moves over. Definitely moving Bowers and Calvert more than I wanted to. Bowers intercepts the pass. Sherwood is motivated and is able to take it away. What's he going to do with it now? He's not even going to try. Bowers takes it. Bowers... Sherwood can intercept from there. He's going to do the lofted pass to Calvert. Doesn't quite get there. And we run out of actions right in front of goal. And that's it. Manchester and Augusta are in a locked at a 0 0 tie at the moment. And that is absolutely a result we cannot accept. This is a game we have to win, these are the teams we have to beat. 
Diggs. Gets it by Thacker, but can't get it by Bowers. And Diggs moves up. He's motivated. And that's not enough to take it away from Bowers. Does the lofted pass towards Calvert. He comes over to take it. And... I don't know why I can't just dribble out to there. But he's going to hold this one. And up comes Holbrook. And Holbrook takes it away! Ugh, that's a frustrating, frustrating move. We're just not able to take the ball from these players right now. Or at least keep the ball. Get the pass past Matson, And now Calvert keeps the ball the first time, and gets fouled the second. Okay. Calvert will take the ball there. Roman will go over there, and I guess that may have to do it for the moment. I don't think there's much else we can do. Yeah, there's not much else we could do with it. Action. I guess Calvert's gonna go for the long shot, and Calvert. Did he kick it against Wallace and into the goal? Doesn't that count as an own goal instead? Oh well. Calvert puts us up 1 0. And Diggs gets the pass past both of our defenders there. And. The move off to the side by Poe is taken away by Tompkins. Uh, we're going to give... I guess Yancey will come in for Bowers. Yeah. Tompkins passes to Thacker. Thacker is going to try and get it to O'Donnell. It's taken away by Diggs, though, and Thacker's not able to take it back. The lofted pass towards Poe doesn't quite reach him. So Poe goes back to get it and goes for the shot, which is intercepted by Shatter. Long pass gets it to Roman. Roman Easily passes it past Matson, and Calvert will move out to the corner. Sherwood comes out. Sherwood can't take it away. And Reese moves over. The break in gets by one. And gets by another. Calvert on goal. Can he put this one out of reach? No, he can't. It's saved again by Mosley. And also, once again, we are going to substitute. And Greer is going to come in for Calvert. If there's a stoppage of play. Of course. The pass doesn't quite reach him. And Diggs is just going to hold this one. Thacker comes up. Roman is going to press to give Thacker a chance to take it away, which he's not able to do. They are running out of moves to make. The Lofted Pass does get to Poe, though. And Poe... Goes for the shot. Gets by. Gets by everyone! You... I can't believe it! What happened to our defense in the late parts of games? We're not able to do anything now. And I already took out Calvert. Yancey tries the pass 
and doesn't get it past. Olsen does take it away, but it's looking like a tie is very likely here. We have to go for a desperation shot here. And it's intercepted by Holbrook. I can't believe that happened. I just can't. It's intercepted by Roman, so we might have another chance here. But Diggs does take it away. Okay. How do we do this? How do we save this game? Olsen. Fouls! Him. No. You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe this team. What has happened to Manchester here? We tied. Again. Believe me, the team is getting us stern talking to after this performance. There is no reason we should have lost this game. Or, not lost this game, but tied this game. So we tied Anchorage and Louisville, tied 3-3. Little Rock beat Topeka 3-2. Newark beat Billings 6-1. Hartford beat Baton Rouge 6-1. And Montpelier beat Boise 4-0. We are still 7th. With Montpelier on the same number of points as us now. And our next game will be at Billings. Another team we absolutely should beat. And another frustrating one. That was actually Yancey's first appearance in a game for us. Should have gone with Osborne. Don't know why I completely skipped over him in my mind. Well, let's just say the second half of the season has not gone to expectations. And yeah, that's kind of just how it is. These, the game has random, random numbers here. Yep. The game has random numbers and Sometimes the numbers don't go in your favor. Multiple times in a row there. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the episode anyway. We, I'll keep, keep plugging through this season so we can get to season four where I'm hoping we'll, we will threaten uh, for promotion. But leave a like. Comment any thoughts on the game and subscribe for more content. And I hope you have a great day and happy gaming. <laughs>